Tester, tester, tester. <laughs> tester, test, tester. No, this is... <laughs> Welcome back to the HWLRadio.com show, and bam, just like Google, nigga, we got you. Just so you know, you just gave us the authority to take $5 from your cash app. As soon as you clicked on this video, you authorized it. We got to use a little sneaky, you got to read the fine print in the beginning of the video, nigga, you missed it. <laughs> but go ahead and tell them what they want, the co host If they want anything, it's going in my pocket first. I'll be the uh, boss of that. Man, they won five $5 from their account to ours. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, let them know, man. Let them feel good about it. <laughs> 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 so, man, earlier today... Earlier today, man, we we had to do a show on this because, you know, I'm like, man, it's a nice day. It's a nice, beautiful day. And everybody knows the conditions that's going on out here right now because of the coronavirus. So I'm like, man, you know what, man, I'm going I'm to just get you a purse. I'm just feeling real nice. Let's let's go. Let's go to Saks Fifth. Come on now. Help me out now. Help me out. You got to ask, what do we do? What did we get at Saks Fifth? Wait a minute. It's so funny. I took my everything to Sex Avenue. Ooh, she's a lucky girl. What did you get her? Not a damn thing. What? That's, a, that's not right. What happened? Well, you know, everything was, you know, beautiful and everything. And as soon as we got in there, started looking at the prices, the storm clouds started coming. Then lightning struck and it started thundering and raining inside that book. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I went in there. I was like, okay, I'm going to get you a little $200 purse. Well, I seen the $200 ain't going nowhere in there but some people that you really don't even know. Like, well, we got some stuff for that. We got some, we got, you, we got you, man. We got you. Who is it? We don't even know. I just said, <laughs> but it's a purse. It's a purse. It's $200 and something dollars. <laughs> Or a Louis Vuitton, a Gucci bag, or a Chanel bag. Man, like Louis Vuitton, nigga, Louis Vuitton was blocked off. Like, niggas couldn't even walk in Louis Vuitton area. I don't even think I want to after hearing Gucci's prices. But. What? That's, Gucci is more expensive, but uh, why was Louis blocked off? I don't know. They had some big nigga over there with a mask over his face. It looked like he was about to rob the place as soon as they made enough money. <laughs> I guess they in there like, nigga, we going to send some of our top people out there to make sure y'all don't get no coronavirus on showers in there. <laughs> or the contract is up. The contract is over. <laughs> better not. Better not nail one of them niggas cough on not nail purse, not nail shoe, not nail sandal. <laughs> No, I'm saying this This is like, man, it was like there's no going, like a crime scene. Like that, like a nigga just got killed in Louis Vuitton, man. Somebody just shot, I don't know. He was put, trying to build on a motherfucker, propped him. But you were not going past there. And the malls are only to operate at 50%. Well, 
capacity. So maybe that means certain areas of the store is not allowed to be frequented. Yeah, but, you know, we're going to figure it out. Today wasn't the day. You just ain't getting nothing today. You said, what did I end up getting? Did she get to at least get a nice fragrance like Bon Nine, hmm. Adrian, uh, I see. Dini, or something? Louis de Noho? Come on, tell me what she got, Terry. I see Blake. you one of them. I see you one of them, them, them special delusional gold diggers. She ain't get nothing. <laughs> Not a damn thing. I told you that earlier. <laughs> I told you that earlier. Not not a damn thing. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. We got to come back. We got to come back to this. Like, we got to huddle. We got to huddle. Call Audible. Okay. So, our player, let's get in a huddle and make a play. This is how she felt, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the quickest. Hey, 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 can I help you? Can I help you? Hey man, I swear they thought I, it was on. Dude was like, hey, 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 oh, hey. Like, we see you, man. We see you. <laughs> well, these people, they they had been closed for, what, months? Mm-hmm. And so they're probably afraid to, you know. Yeah, I feel them. I feel them, though. But like I said, that Finaze Swag gonna come out when a nigga go back and get that MCM bag. They're going to talk a little different. A little, you want to join the club? No, nah, I want to join no club, nigga. Just want to get her this dang on person and get the heck out of here before she sees something else. There's somebody that's willing to buy her a designer bag, and she's a special girl. She ought to be happy and proud. And she should be happy and proud to get this new upgraded ring. It's going to be bling, bling, plow. But see, what she trying to do is dribble like Steph Curry. And she like, get the NCM bag. Get the NCM bag. And then like, oh, I'll give it a day. No, nah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. No, nah, no, nah, he mad today. No, nah, i give it another day. I'll wait. wait next week. Yeah. Like, like no, no, no. Hey, well, what about that ring? Like, oh, okay, okay. So you got me. You double got me. No, this is... Too. No, she's about to get the ring. As soon as as soon as the jewelry store open up, she's getting the ring. Oh, are you? Uh... <laughs> now the ring and the purse, the double entendre, just ain't happening right now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like I know y'all on teams, y'all both women. Just like if a nigga, we would talk about a nigga situation, I would be on the niggas team. So I ain't mad at you. But all I'm trying to tell you is y'all didn't win this one. I won. Y'all lost today. Actually, you didn't lose today because my grandmother used to always tell us, show me one that won't, I will show you ten that will. Yeah, I know. That goes both ways. So ten other motherfuckers going to do some shit and they ain't going to get no purse either. Who you and your grandmother messing with? Nah, just say that. (laughs) Y'all got the right one today. Oh, she already knows she's going to get it. It just wasn't in today's budget. That's the whole thing you missing. She understands that. You don't understand that. She left out of there, and she was trying to buy me some shit. Like, I fucked her so good. Like, she, she like, man, I shit, fuck that MCM person. I'm buying this nigga something. Oh, now, hey, that's a real woman. You better keep her. Why do you think I am? Not just <laughs> Why do you think I am? Because my list would have been all the way out today. You took me to the mall and then I didn't get nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Man, half of the mall ain't even. Look, the mall is just, I don't even know what's open. Like, that bug is like some messed up Christmas lights. Like a couple of them mugs is on, <laughs> a lot of them is off. <laughs> I told you I tried to take her to Michael Kors or Coach or something and get her what it is. I know them niggas is reasonable still. Yeah, well, she would have had to take it today if she didn't want to leave with nothing. But we had to leave with nothing because sex was set tripping. No, they were stack tripping. <laughs> Black. No, they were stacks tripping. The prices were so damn high. They were stacks tripping, nigga. I was like, man, no, this ain't in today's budget. This ain't in today's budget. The forecast. The forecast will be nothing. No, just... <laughs> nothing all day. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, but we got to check out your homeboy, though. Your homeboy's in the news. Your homeboy's in the news, man. He's been a real bad boy. <laughs> you know, I got a few of them. Which one now? Your homie Joe Biden. Like, what? what's going on, man? Is he stealing our buddy? Is he stealing stimulus checks? Is that where all those stimulus checks went to that was messed up? And that's why he joined back on the campaign? <laughs> I got y'all stimulus checks. I'm I'm joining back in the race. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me the story, what they saying. What they said, man. They said that the nigga, he done done a wrong. He done done America wrong. He done stole some people's money. He stole taxpayers' but, money. But hell, he ain't even the one that's I want to know. That's what I'm saying. I just want to know. <laughs> this is your guy. I ain't keeping up with this nigga. This just hit my news feed today. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is your, this is the nigga that you backing. This is who you was standing behind proud. This nigga stealing niggas money. I don't believe it, and I don't like it, nor do I appreciate it. Well, let's talk about it. We want answers because he stole from me. He stole from these people listening, and he done stole from everybody's kids. <laughs> he the soul for the American kids. But I believe that Trump, with his orange ass, is trying to use Joe as an escape though, like he's trying to use Biden. Joe and Biden is the same uh, same I people. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's Obama. You know, I mean, that, I but he's trying to say that the coronavirus is here because Obama messed up the, the CDC and Center for Disease Control and all that, you know. This, he, what does oh, that he, got to do with Joe Biden stealing these tax people's money? May I please say this? Joe Biden is not over dispersing anything. He's not even in office. So how could he have taken anybody's money? I need more information. Uh, when he was with uh, Barack Obama, when he was right beside him, he stole money. That's more information. That's when he was in office. That's when he could have stole money, and that's when he supposedly, allegedly did. So I want, I want explanations. I want answers. Like, w- was y'all keeping up with this? Well, then, Cause y'all you know, know everything. Y'all know everything that Trump do. Trump can just, hey, Trump can rub somebody <laughs> right there tomorrow, and the world will know that he rubbed somebody right there on an the airplane. He groped. Oh, I, don't, I don't believe it. I think that uh, Trump is just trying to look at any way he can accuse anybody for anything. Throw the rock and hide your hand. All right, but okay. So if this is true, this guy is running for president. This guy is running for president. Is this who you want in office? A guy that then stole from you already? I just, I, I need more information. Well, uh, well, 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 okay. Check this out. If I come in your house and steal your TV, your uh, phone, and all of that stuff, and you come over to my house and you see your TV, your phone, and everything, do you still need more information? No. <laughs> but, I mean, you don't see the money that, that they're claiming. Or are you going to vote for me for president? I just want to know which one you're going to do. I'm not voting for you or that slimy, fat, orange, pump Trump. Well, you shouldn't vote for thievery. Thievery. Well, he shouldn't have stolen no more than this four trillion that Trump has stolen and then telling the people. Uh, we got to get more money because... Stole Joe. And just say that. Stole Joe. <laughs> it's stole. <laughs> oh, wow. Stole. America, America do not allow... We miss a lot of stimulus checks. Stole. <laughs> don't, don't, don't holler at old stole. <laughs> Hey, look, don't holler at Stole Joe, because he ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't have it, because he didn't take it. 
what what was the question again? Can you please <laughs> ask me that one more time? Hey, I, I don't know because I didn't hear about it. No, no, now. no. That was him in the court. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know, man. This nigga didn't understand a word though. It's just so easy. A kid could understand it. You can hear it in the sentence and understand it. Nigga, they saying that you steal the dang old money. <laughs> like, I, 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 <coughs> this part where y'all saying me, hey, look, <laughs> just not getting it right. Like, I don't understand. Not like me or do I appreciate it and I don't believe it. Man, you need you need to look that up. Cause our show was like, dang, man, this nigga really did do it. Cause ain't no way don't nobody know what that word mean. You gotta look you that know up. What I'm interested in figuring out is if America believes that they're opening the country too soon or is it actually time to go on and open it up again? Well, I tell you what I know and what I believe. <laughs> what do you believe? I believe America is tired. We tired of this shit. <laughs> we tired <laughs> of the curfew. You can fuck, you can't fuck. You can't do this, you can't do that. Like nigga, America is tired. America is tired. America been on house arrest too long. Like nigga, we ain't even did nothing. These niggas, we. We might as well be criminals. <laughs> we get the same treatment as convicts, nigga, out here. From the coronavirus. Single foul line. Nigga, we look like we in child line in the joint. <laughs> in the grocery store. We in the joint child line in the grocery store. You got to just talk to people from six feet. Hey, man, what, what block you in, man? I'm, yeah, man, I'm just, uh, with my family, not just uh, my family block. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to well, tell you. you know, speaking of stolen money, I had an issue. I allowed one of my neighbors, since we are quarantined and social distancing, to uh, go to the store and uh, use my. Uh, debit card and I asked her to get cash off the card so that I would have money here. You know, uh, this is the time that we're ordering things offline. You want to tip your delivery people, uh, your supermarket people, even the people that are delivering the food, the pizzas and stuff. So I have the type of card registered to my phone. I get an alert anytime anyone takes any cash off of it and the, it went through and so then i start getting things on my phone about uh open up your cash app and put more money on it looks like you don't have enough so then she calls and says well i can't get the money off and i said well it says that you were successful with the 60 dollars i screenshot the receipt and sent it to her and she just came, gold faced it to my door, said, I don't know what happened. It said that the transaction timed out and everything. And we went through that from 2 o'clock to like 6 o'clock until I said, well, I'm going to have to call the police to get the police report so that the uh, ATM uh, gas station would uh, pull the cameras that, that's facing the ATM. <laughs> and... Uh, at long story short, she came up with at least ninety five percent of my cash. Dang, she had an already that? dibbled into it. <laughs> <laughs> she think, and she gave me cash from her own private money or that she tried to bamboozle me or or it actually timed out. What what do you what am I to think? They ordered a pizza. And the pizza got there, and right after it got there, you got there. <laughs> Talk about, I need my money. <laughs> I need my money. I seen it. <laughs> See where that transaction was at. It took place. It happened. It happened. I need it. <laughs> oh, my God. And it wasn't until I spoke up 
Hold on, no. Hold on. How did you uh-huh. how did you know that they took it though? That's the that's the the good part. And what well, did she tell you, you know, about what did she tell you about the receipt? <laughs> she, I told her about the receipt. No, she <laughs> said that she didn't I, I didn't want a receipt or some shit. Oh no, the first one where she said that the money wouldn't come out, she said that the ATM never dispersed the money and that's the the electronic receipt that I got. And I said, well, did you get a receipt saying non-sufficient fund or insufficient fund? And she said, uh, no, because I uh, said that I didn't want it. Okay, but then you come 30 miles away and <laughs> try to act like you're trying to get the cash from a different ATM. And, but you got the insufficient fund receipt from the second transaction. That wouldn't go through. And so I, I just, I don't like, nor do I appreciate when people try to pull bull over my eyes. And, and, but hold on. And you said this is your neighbor. My neighbor. I'm always gifting her three little boys stuff, you know. And, I mean, I'm good to her. And I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, she's taking my card and done little errands yeah, for me hey look if you don't cut off that white weather woman tell us the weather then nigga tell us the weather nigga <laughs> talking property in the mud but I couldn't believe her <laughs> I'm like nigga be yourself man loosen up like you, you well, tense you said I <laughs> well, I didn't already. I didn't already cuss. We didn't cuss on this one. They they still give you. Hey, look, some advertisers mess with a little bit of cussing. As long as you don't just cuss, 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 they can still mess with it. They can still mess with it. They listen to it. They see you got some kind of point. You making some kind of point in your uh, stuff, then they'll mess with you. Yeah, but if you just not talking about nothing and you're just cussing, they like, yeah, nigga. I don't know who you. Re- I don't know what audience you reach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't entertained or enlightened. Oh my God. So since I could keep it real, who the hell did this bitch think I was? <laughs> I don't know who she thought you was, but I can tell you one thing. I can tell you one thing. She was uh, she was pinky, cause you know he was a stupid one. <laughs> Guess what happened? That's what she said. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can just get the money and tell her to go through, and we can order a pizza. Well, when I decided to tell her the legality is that I'm having sex with file a report so I they can pull the camera and then she came up with 55 of the 60 dollars. Dang. Okay. So she didn't even do that. I tell you exactly what she did. She got her a pack of cigarettes right yeah. there at the store right then and there when the move went down. I'm like, I'm gonna just tell her something wrong with your car. Ain't hey, something wrong with it. Smoking on a cigarette that she just got on it. I'm like, oh man, so wrong with your car. <laughs> and, and my diggy voice, damn, why they want to give me for my paper? Damn, man. Speaking, did you see that ludicrous in Nelly? I missed it. Well, you missed another Teddy Rock. He young Teddy. That nigga young Riley. They called him Nelly Nelly Riley. No, I mean, no. Nelly actually held his ground. He held his own. He held his own in that battle. But I can tell you one thing where Ludacris took over uh-huh. is because Nelly threw on some a couple trash songs nobody knew. Like, when you throw on a song don't nobody know about, like, it's got to be a banger. Like, you know how, like, somebody is trying to smell hard. Like, he's looking at the comments and the fans and stuff. They're like, uh, uh, no, Nelly, no, no, Nelly. But you know how, like, <laughs> you know how you got that little, little, little smile. You just trying to smile to stop from crying. 
<laughs> he had that that smile. <laughs> the smile from to stop from crying, nigga. That's what he had on his face. Like, man, these niggas ain't feeling this one. <laughs> I shouldn't have played this one. I knew I should have played that other one. But then he'll come back with a, a top banger and a top hit. But Ludacris was just like, <laughs> this nigga was like, I oh, don't know, Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson in the ring. He was just hitting, just hitting you. Just coming and just hitting you. <laughs> and not only that, and this is why we called him Nelly Riley. This <laughs> This nigga was on a 2G network, Wi-Fi. Talk about he going to live stream. <laughs> so they said the problem with uh, Candy Riley and Babyface. Man, I heard, man, I heard, uh, do, 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 that's the that's the bits he was in. Like the nigga looked like uh he was uh I told everybody we got his trap phone and then he put us on the family phone, and then all of a sudden he was clear. But that first phone, that nigga was looking like Mario Brothers on the on the uh Nintendo what was that the Super Nintendo <laughs> sixty four. Man. That's the graphics he had and the the connection. Like he was going, I, hey, I'm a live stream from my Super Nintendo. Stop. Well, I stream for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> I was just playing Mario Brothers. That is hilarious. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, Nelly was wrong. All the way wrong. Yeah, all those young kids, they could have pulled them up to what's up. Yeah. Man, so, oh, forget really them niggas. Good. Them niggas owe me cash out. Uh, who owe you now? Man, like the whole industry. The whole industry. Oh. Takashi 6 9 All them niggas. The baby. Everybody owe me. I put well, these niggas on. Actually- I put these niggas on, man. I put these niggas on, man. I'm the producer. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 hey, nigga, fuck it. I'm, it's my turn to make a big, a big stunt move. <laughs> Now that's bad. When hungry people <laughs> refuse, <laughs> when hungry starving people refuse your buddy, nigga, you the you the messed up. A real though. Like you gotta go home and really think about, hey, your character. Like who am I? Like I just ruined myself, man. Are you serious? Like yeah. some bums told me, like I'm cool, I'm good. <laughs> hey man, I'm good. I'll lay out here another day and get a burger. Yeah, two hundred thousand dollars. What's that, man? I'm gonna get five dollars from this real nigga. Well, allegedly, it was a boys' club, or you know, a young kid boys' and girls' club, and they were doing the Hey, yeah, call us. We got a whole, we got a whole heap of kids, a whole heap of them. In Indianapolis, so we would be happy. You can sponsor us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sponsor these kids, nigga. Sponsor these kids. Look at them; they starving. They hungry. No shoes on their feet. Flies on their cheeks. Send two hundred G's a week. And help these kids. Right. And you know, uh, it just says something about the organization that turns it down. They're not really for the kids because I don't care who it was. Yeah. It's a, a hand up for these things. I'm telling you, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, birds of a feather. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too, because 
a lot of people say birds of a feather flock together, but you know I like to the, 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 uh, put an end to that because I'm that dang on one bird that just ain't flocking with the rest of them. I'm just flying wherever the hell I want to fly. Like I just ain't. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, they saying birds of a feather because I know a whole bunch of niggas. I'd be like, hey, man, what the heck are you doing? I'll never do no crap like that. And then, you know, like somebody see you with them, they like, man, that nigga do crap like that. Some of my wife is pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, we got some real exciting news. Cause you know that five dollars came out of y'all stuff. Y'all ain't believe me, but y'all better go check y'all accounts. And you know that's about it, man. We got these niggas. Everybody clicked on this video for five dollars. Thank you. So what you got to say? What you got? Some exciting news to tell them before we get on out of here? Cause there's a lot of editing. It's always a pleasure to be able to laugh and to inform people. Oh, HWL Radio, thank you. You're welcome, and thank you guys for listening. You know, like, you know, check your account. No, just so. And if I didn't get you for the five, then resend it. No, just say that. If I didn't get you for the five dollars, man, resend it. Go, go down below and hit that button. Right there to donate to the radio station and resend the five dollars, cause you know we messed up. We thought we had you. I'll donate you for welcome. They need it. And we yeah. Remember, social distance. Yeah, social distance, but not with your girl. (laughs) (laughs) We out.